Okay, hey, hey, Deli Toast here, finally back with more Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, it's been a while because I didn't have my HDMI capture card for the longest. Not HDMI capture card. Actually, did I have my capture card? No, I didn't have my splitter. I had my capture card. So I couldn't play any console games for the longest time. So that's why I've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV. I need to get back to that. Anyways, finally excited to uh, play this again. Hey Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Tuesday! Memoirs of the Cloud of Kokoro. So now I have to see if we're back in England or if we're still in... Whoa! There's a dead lady. セナカを刺され倒れた裏は刑事を彷徨うに事件は解決した宮地に陥った東洋人の留学生が我が友人によって救い出されたその晩ガス灯の刻む炎ぐらい影が当時の新聞の戦場的な見出しを記憶しているものも多いだろう。悪霊に見入られた死の邸宅。Is so we are back in England. Did this take place right after um the the lady in the green coat? My name is Ryunosuke Daruhoro. I'm a fledgling lawyer just starting out on my journey. Now, six months ago, I arrived as a visiting student of law. Having made the long voyage across the sea from the Empire of Japan to here, London, England. And on the way, in quite extraordinary circumstances, I made the acquaintance of a world-famous detective. Currently, I reside in the attic of the detective's own lodgings from where I run my legal consultancy of sorts. Successfully defended a number of clients in Britain's highest court, the Old Bailey. But since a particularly grueling and unforgettable legal battle four months ago now, I haven't returned to the courtroom. In truth, I lost my right to return. Why? But that epic trial was just one small part of an epic tale, a tale which was now about to awaken from slumber. Thanks to a letter that arrived this morning from my homeland. Wait, why did he say he didn't have the right? Rumble. Is it because that last trial we like f we kind of forged evidence? No, we didn't have forged evidence. I don't remember. What a delicious smell wafting up the stairs. It must be nearly time for breakfast. I better go down to Mr. Sholmes' suite. A good morning to the great detective and his flatmate. It's August, so a couple months have passed. Yeah, because he said four months ago. Ah, Rune, good. I don't remember any of the characters' voices, I'm just gonna make it up now. I was just about to call up to you. The bacon's ready. Good morning, Iris. It smells delicious as usual. Before we eat, though, I have some news. I had a surprise this morning. <laughs> Shh! Not another word, Mr. Naruto. This could be just the abstruse. Abstruse? Is that a word? Thing for my pre breakfast stagnation repelling mental stimulation, my dear fellow. Morning to you, too, Mr. Sholmes. Ah, yes, I see. So that's it. What the frick? <laughs> this is 
so scary. You're too close, man. The truth is as clear to me as day. My faculties of observation have revealed it again. What are you talking about? Now give me a kiss. Ah! Why did I say that? Gosh darn. You, Mr. Naruto, you have, this very morning, met with a surprise. Well, is that not the case? Um... Really, my dear fellow, it barely warrants explanation. Firstly, your hair is particularly unkempt, somewhat reminiscent of a bird's nest. Secondly, you have neglected to fasten the third button of your jacket. Clearly, when considered together, these two facts point to you having been flustered this morning. Can I talk now? But of course, of course, though I don't look for ad admiration, you understand. My hair always looks like this. It's been this way since I first met you. <laughs> oh, it has. And the button was ripped off last night, if you remember. Ooh, what was happening last night? By you. What re really, what was happening last night? Barely pulled your button off. Oh yes, I recall the incident now. It was after supper, was it not? As the evening advanced, I picked up my violin and began to play the wailing notes of a haunting tune. But then, to my utter dismay, the third string snapped. Why did it have to happen? Why? Little wonder then that in my vexation, I grabbed the first button I saw and ripped it from its proper place. Hi. Well, I'd like it back now, please. It's troubling me that I can't fasten my jacket. Is it like the third button from the top? So it's his it's his belly? Why was that the first button you saw? And it's troubling me that you expect me to know where it is. Somewhere thereabouts on the floor, one presumes. Helpful. What matters at the present time, my dear fellow, is simply whether or not my deduction was unerring. Well, Hurley, Rina said it when he came in, didn't he? I had a surprise this morning. Good job. <laughs> well, that really is a surprise. Yes, this man is the pride of British Empire. The famous consulting detective, Mr. Herlock Scholes. There can't be a single person in the world who doesn't know his name. There could be. Oh man, this reminds me. I need. I really need to start watching the second season of um, Moriarty the Patriot. Patriots. The anime. Because everyone is good looking. Alright then, enough of this silly conversation. Come and eat this bacon before it gets cold. And I have a new herbal tea for you to try too. My need a special bend. Special blend. And here we have Iris Wilson, Mr. Sholm's lodger and companion. A truly exceptional young girl who's the author of a highly successful serialization here in London. Yes, The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes, as published in Ranst magazine. Oh, I want to know if Ranst is like a play on words from an actual publication, or if it's just like a random word. So, Mr. Donahudo, won't you put us out of your misery? What surprised you this fine morning? Ah, well, I received a letter from Japan. Oh, from Suzy, you mean? Was, was it? Really? That's right. And she had some rather startling news, in fact. Ah, intriguing indeed. 
<laughs> that pose is so weird and kind of freaky. I am uncomfortable, Scholes. You must tell us all about it over breakfast. Oh yes, what fun! Uh, I don't think I have to examine anything, right? Wow, the lag is real. Uh, gotta look at my teeth. I kind of wish there was a way that, like, I could stream things without the one second delay that the HDMI splitter gives me. But then, that would require getting a capture card for my computer. Most likely. Hmm. When it gets to this time of year, Londoners seem to uh, leave their hearts alight all day long, and I love it. Hello, Govna! Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Tuesday! Something very relaxing about watching the flames flit and dance about. But the fireplace in the days of summertime is a waste of space. Really, no use at all. Why would you need a capture card for your computer? Why don't you just use OBS? I have an OBS. I don't. I don't. Know. I, don't mm. I don't know. I should look up ways to like shorten the delay between my my console and um, when I stream. Because the reason why I'm looking at my stream uh, video when I'm playing this game is because if I read it off my TV screen, then I like start a second earlier and then it's just like, wait, the text hasn't popped up yet. The heck. I don't know. Uh, things to think about later. Rather like a great detective in days of no crimes and no criminals, merely? Well, consider this. Instead of a fireplace, a frost place. That's my latest idea. Extraordinary hearth from which emanates a cool breeze in the hot summer months. What do you think? I think if you invented such a thing, your name would go down in history. The principle is extremely simple. One must, of course, light a cold fire in the hearth. How do you light a cold fire? Yes, of course. Brilliant. The trouble is, none of the fires are built ever burn cold. How it taunts me. So as you British say, it's a bit of a damp squib. Oh gosh. Um... Violin. Ah yes, Mr. Shaw's faithful musical companion. Oh, wasn't this violin made by somebody? Wait a minute. Would I need a? No, I'd still need... Because I was like, do I really have to plug my HDMI splitter? Yeah, because I still look at the TV when I'm... when I'm, um... streaming. Is there a way I could, like, bypass the splitter and just... I don't know... Javelin! <laughs> hey, Selk, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday! Uh, Mr. Scholl's faithful musical companion. Wasn't this violin made by somebody famous? Yes, it's a Stradivarius. I'm afraid you'd have to save up for a hundred years before you could afford one, Runo. But didn't you buy it for a song, Mr. Scholl's? I found it at a pawnbrokery among the forfeited articles. It clearly says Stradivarius on the label. What? The ignorant broker had no idea of its true value, you see, so I paid a mere 55 shillings for it. Yes, I have something of a turn for shopping. Verlock Shobes, Bargain Hunter. Hmm. But, is it really a Stradivarius then? Well, of course, my dear fellow. It said so on the label. I think perhaps the ignorant broker had something of a turn for selling. Uh, 
That machine really is imposing, isn't it? But I can never remember its name. Early calls it his great anla analytoscope. Can analyze anything at all. That doesn't really help me. What does analyzing something even mean? Ah, an extremely astute question, Mr. Adohoro. For console, you need a capture card because you can't stream console to your PC that sends it to Twitch, but your PC just captures the window and sends it. Yeah, that's why Final Fantasy XIV and I, like, there's no lag at all. But yeah, for console, I'm trying to think of a way to get console just straight to my computer, but... That's why I'm just like, my computer would need a capture card, but even if my computer has a capture card, wouldn't there still be like a one second delay for the capture card to process what's happening? Or is the one second delay happening because I happen to run it through a splitter first, which slows down the connection? I don't know. Sorry. Well, as Ira said, my machine here spits out analysis results of anything with which you care to present it. But how to interpret those results? That's the key. And I confess I have no idea. Nope, no delay as long as you get a good quality capture card. Hmm. I've only ever streamed on PC, sorry. Yeah. That's why I'm wondering, like, how do other people stream console games without any delay? Like, even when people play Jackbox, there's, like, no delay. Like, how do you do it? And my capture card is, admittedly, like, old. It's, like... When did I start YouTube? It's that old. Like... Like, four or five years old? We totally should play Jackbox. I do want to play Jackbox with you guys. It's just that because the delay between my Switch and the stream is so long, like, it wouldn't be fair to you guys because you wouldn't have enough time. And I'd see everything first, so I'd start laughing. And then you guys would just be like, what the heck is happening? So, yeah, I need to... Maybe I need to look into newer capture cards. Clearly, I'm going to have to construct a great ana analytoscope analytoscope to solve the problem. Can you just delay your cam? And I... Oh, is that how it works? Hmm. I'll have to look into that too. That might not help. <laughs> okay, I'm done looking around at things. I'm just gonna um, converse with them. I, I need to move the story along. Miss Susato's letter. This is the letter that arrived from Japan this morning, by International Post. Oh, how lovely! Look at Susie's beautiful writing! I wish I could read it! And how is your judicial assistant faring, may I ask? She's very well, thank you. In fact, according to what she's written, she actually appeared as a lawyer at the Japanese Supreme Court and won a case. The delay of the cam wouldn't work because the Jackbox service itself would still be faster. Oh yeah, true. Oh, true, true. Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Alex. Um, V. Oh no, it's not V Bitte. Um, I forgot how to say how are you in German. Ah. Uh. I can say how it- what is your name? Um... Can I say what is it? What? It's Stein and Nama. Yeah. Also, your gameplay is dropping frames. I didn't notice because I was playing video games. Oh, is it? Um... Hmm... I don't know how to fix that because I'm not seeing any, um... I'm not seeing any notices on Streamlabs. It says your stream quality is good. I don't have any performance notifications. When your Streamlabs detects performance issues with your stream, such as drop frames, lag frames, or Steam connection. 
That's weird. But that's one of like four German words I kind of know. I would say you should just make a dono goal for a new capture card or add it to a uh, throne and make it a community purchase. Oh, but I don't want, you know, you guys or like other people paying money for it. Like, I'll just... I'll do it myself. I feel bad asking other people. Because I'm not like even a serious streamer. I'm gonna dono anyway. No! <laughs> Yeah, if I was a more serious streamer, and if it was, like, my main job, I would definitely, like, invest as, like, much money as possible to get the best equipment and the best setup, but this is just for fun. But I really do want to play Jackbox with you guys, so maybe I'll just do it just for the sake of playing Jackbox. Ah, oh, really? Oh, isn't she wonderful? You stream, like, two days a week. That's more than a lot of people. Really? I feel like Fuller, most people stream at least three days. Maybe I th I really think I should get back to streaming three days a week. Yeah, because my my gameplay is just getting so low. My game pro progress. If we were playing Jackbox, you could still see it on your phone. I guess so. Yeah. Anyways, after the stream, I'll I'll look into it, like how to make the capture a lot shorter for console games. A cut above your good self, my dear fellow. Game progress so slow, did somebody say strikers? Ha! I know, I'm still only on the first- No, that first, second jail. The heck, I really need to finish that. I've won cases too, you know. Apparently, Mr. Natsume appeared in trial as a witness. Natsume, Natsume. Yeah, I don't recall that name. Oh, ha actually, I wonder if this might help uh, with the stream. If I unplug my... Would that help? If I unplugged my HDMI and then replugged it back in? Uh, let me try it. Uh, the game's been out for 11 months and it's free on PS Plus this month. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so behind. Uh, nah, I won't mess with my HDMI right now. I'll just deal with it. Of course you do! We helped the man! Twice! You know, in those two cases that took place on Briar Road six months ago... Ah, the mustache twitchy man with the somewhat feline eyes and the mustache. <laughs> Sixteenth months if you count the Japanese release. Oh my gosh. Ah! He didn't have two mustaches, Hurley. Yes, who could forget those two cases? They made a very deep impression on me. Although I must confess, the details are a little hazy now. And you don't remember them clearly. A very deep impression they made on you, clearly. <laughs> Startling news. So, what was the startling news penned by Miss Susato? Do you remember the case of the haunted lodgings, Mr. Sholmes? Ah, oh, yes. It's very interesting, you know. I don't feel entirely uncertain that a case of that nature did not not occur. What? He's totally forgotten, then. <laughs> anyway, in her letter... Miss Susato asked that we read over her case notes again and investigate further. Though it took place half a year ago, for what purpose? Because of something that Mr. Natsuma said to her, apparently. He suggested that the real reason why she was called back to Japan so suddenly might have something to do with that case of the haunted lodgings. I don't remember the case of the haunted lodgings. Oh? On Mr. Natsume's return to Japan, Miss Susato's father questioned him about the case, she says. And something Mr. Natsume said appeared to trouble Professor Mikotoba, pr prompting him to send that telegram. Oh, that case, yes. Ah! So, thank you so much for the 18-month sub! 
Dang, a year and a half. Wow. It's been so long already. Dang. Thank you so much for the continued support, dude. Oh, you don't see it. Yeah. It was very strange, wasn't it? Yes. Hey, Maka, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Tuesday! I compiled the whole story into a nice, neat manuscript ready for publication, too. But Dan Hurley here was all funny about it, remember? He was very mean. That story must not be published, you said. Very mysteriously as well. Really? I said that. Are you sure? Do you perhaps know something about it as well, Mr. Scholz? Einsprung? Eh? <laughs> oh man, there was a Xenosaga game that had a totally German name. Also Sprach Zarathustra? I don't remember what it means though. I only know a few phrases in German anymore, like Meine Lieblingsfarbe ist blau. Um, ich heiße Jelly. Ich, ich habe, ich bin, ich habe, uh, eins, zwei, drei, vier und dreißig Jahre alt. Ich habe vier und dreißig Jahre alt. I typed them objection into Google and that's what came out on German. Einspruch. <laughs> have you been watching Attack on Titan? I forgot if you did. I started Attack on Titan anime and I think I stopped in season two. And then after that, I continued reading the manga, but then I got so lost with what the manga was trying to say. And then I just totally skipped until the last chapter, and I was just like, womp womp. <laughs> so I haven't watched the latest season, although everyone has been saying it was it's really good so far. I'm thinking I should watch it, but I also want to catch up on Fire Force. Because I started that long ago. And kind of dropped it. Stupid brag. I know a guy who knows the guy who drew the manga. What? Yo, that's cool. I read most of the manga. It sucks booty. The anime is so hype. Right? I feel like if I watch it, the anime, like the, all the things that they try to say in the manga will make sense. Because it was hard visualizing what they were trying to say. And also because like not a lot of the translators are good. So maybe if I watch you know, subtitled anime, the action will make sense. What they're trying to go after will make sense. Because I got so confused between the, um, El Eldians and the Marlians, right? That's what they were called. Yeah, I forget who was what and why they were doing something, but like they were, they were like basically enslaving the other people I was like, what's going on? Same guy I know also knows the guy who wrote One Piece. What? Dang. Is he like a manga assistant or something? Or like an editor? Eldians are the Nazis and Marlins are the people who can transform into Titans. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so then the Marlins are like, they look down on the Marlins, but then they're also afraid of the Marlins because they can transform into Titans. And I'm like, why would you be afraid? Then what? I, mm, that makes sense. Like, why would you enslave them if you're afraid of them? But that's why you would enslave them, because you're afraid of them, and you want to have control over them so that they don't kill you. But it's like, they can turn on you at any time, but they never chose to, and I'm just like, why? No, just a buddy who lives in Japan who's a pro writer. Ah, I see. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome to modern politics. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, but yeah, maybe I should watch uh, last season of Attack on Titan. I need to- I still need to catch up on Demon Slayer. I remember, like, a couple weeks ago, I was like, Oh yeah, I missed, like, three episodes. I should catch up. I haven't ca caught up yet, so I gotta do that. Probably this weekend. Anyways, back to the game! But why Miss Susato was suddenly told four months ago that she had to return to Japan? Uh, ba -do Miss Susato's repatriation. I like Demon Slayer. I like Demon Slayer, too. It's good. I mean, there were some things he could have done a little longer with the story. But I feel like where it ended, all the action that happens, like, that was enough. He didn't... yeah. It would have been nice if he expanded a little more. 
<clears throat> on stuff, but it was good. He got the point across, and yeah, it felt realistic. Um, yes, technically, yes, you did. <laughs> Yo, Demon Slayer anime is popping off right now. I know, I need to watch the whole um, Red, Di Red Light District fight. Ah, Uzui is so cool. Anything I get right or wrong, I'm playing it on Google. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So, like, the words make sense, but it's, like, slightly off the translation. Only thing I don't like about Demon Slayer is how it's a very villain of the week, at least in the anime. Um... I, I guess... So, but at least Demon Slayer doesn't have like, oh, you're, you're like, take care of all the small fry and then big boss. Oh, here's all the small fry and then big boss. It just seems to be like, big boss right here. Another big boss. I guess the spider family was considered like lots of little bosses, but like, it was a big fight for a lot of the characters, so. I, I don't know. I like, they don't like really waste a lot of time on just like, hey, 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 I'm this bad guy now. Makio is best girl. Mm. I like, um... I like, uh, uh... Wow, why did I forget her name? Mitsu... Mitsu... Oh my god! Kan... Kanro... Oh, I'm so bad. Why did I forget her name? Demon Slayer Mitsu... Mitsuri! Yeah, she's cute. The, um, the flower Hashida? Big boss! Metal Gear! <laughs> the flower Hashida? Yeah, I like her. Najiko? Who's, who's Najiko? Demon Slayer Najiko? Nojiko? Oh, that's One Piece! For a second, I thought you were about to say Mitsuru, as in Mitsuru Kirijo. No, no, no. I was like, no, their names are similar, but it's not Mitsuru. <laughs> I I do like Mitsuru. I think she's cool. I just don't like using her at my active battle party, because, um, Marin Karen. And that's all I'll say about that. Ah. It's been four months now since we waved Susie off at the Dover. At Dover. That was such a shock, wasn't it? The way she just suddenly announced that she had to go back to Japan. Indeed it was, due to a telegram she received from her homeland, I believe. That's right, telling her to return urgently. Mind Charge and Bufudine is a great combo though, if the AI does it properly. This is why I appreciate Persona 3 portable. Everyone's like, no, Persona 3 FES is where it's at, and I'm like, mm, then the AI is weird. You gotta play portable, and you can control the party members. Chihiro is best girl in Persona 3. Oh, oh. Hmm. My favorite girl is honestly in the female route in Persona 3 Portable is uh, Ryo, one of the social links. She's the um, chariot. Is she the chariot? Persona 3 Portable No, she- yeah, she's Chariot. She cute. I like her. But I was just like, girl, why do you have a crush on that dude? He's a sleazeball, ew. And then later on, she's just like, no, I don't need him. And I'm just like, yes, you go, girl. I got P3P on the Vita, and I ain't gonna lie, I've only gotten like two hours into the game, and I've had it for like a year. I will say, all Persona game- I mean, yeah, all Persona games take such a long time to get into, but once you get into the meat of the story, it goes by pretty quick. Except, I will say the worst part in Persona 3 is December, because you don't get to do anything, and the only two people you get to um, hang out with are Aegis and Mitsuru. So... Yeah... December is boring as heck. And I don't know why they made it that way, but... Uh. Other than that, Persona 3, 
Breaking. So good. I just realized we've been talking for half an hour. I know, but it's so fun! Let's just chat with you guys. I kind of want to, like, progress the dialogue, though, because I don't want to keep listening to this, like, sad, creepy music. That's why I'm trying to, like, progress with the game. D3 and 4 start off really slow, but once you get past its greatness. Mm -hmm. I hate Udyoji, that is all. Um, Udyoji, Udyoji. Persona 3, Udyoji? Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling him. Other people are like, oh, I feel so bad for him, or oh, he's so cute and silly, and I'm just like, uh-uh. He's weird. He's a creep. This is gross. I didn't like him. I was like talking and shooting the, the, with like-minded people is fun. It is fun! You guys, you guys are so cool and so awesome. And I'm just like, yes, this is this is a group, good group of people. This is this is a nice it's a nice size group. It's full of nice, cool people. It's like, we're chill, yes. This is all I wanted from streaming. Just playing games, hanging out with friends. That's all I want. I've been uh, watching Rent a Girlfriend and it's so good. I heard about that too, and I heard it was cute. I have so many things to watch. I just gotta like focus on one thing and then just finish it. Like I finally finished watching Daya no Ace, a uh, baseball anime. It's really good. I never thought I would like anything baseball related, but it's so fun. It's so good. I'm actually learning stuff about baseball, which is crazy. And they don't have any, like, crazy power-up moves like, Oh, this guy has, like, the super spin. Like, it's a crazy pitch, like, spin ball. No, it's all realistic. It's all, like, within the realm of reality. It's great. I mean, the only thing is, some of the characters don't look like high schoolers. Other than that, it's great. I love baseball. Dodgers are angels. Ooh, ooh. Are you making fun of Prince of Tennis? Prince of Tennis? They're in middle school, not high school. They do not look like middle schoolers. <laughs> and yes, I am making fun of Prince of Tennis. I was obsessed with that in college, though. Also, Dodgers are angels. I don't know. Um, I've been to, like, an Angels game and a Dodgers game. I've been to Angel Stadium and Dodger Stadium. I will say I appreciate Angel Stadium more because the the land, the layout makes sense. The parking lot is flat. You don't have to climb so many weird staircases to get to the stadium. But the view of the city from Dodger Stadium is very nice because it's on a hill where you have to climb up random staircases to get to the stadium. And the parking lot is a little hilly. Ducks over kings, in my opinion. Kings never got their own movies. True, 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 true. I really do want to go to a hockey game. I want to experience a live hockey game. That seems really fun. I have no problems with focusing. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? But yeah, so many anime to watch. So little time. Ugh. I just need to stop re-watching old TV shows. And just... Like, finish my watch list. I used to be so in- I used to be indecisive, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> That's silly, Alex. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm gonna progress with the game to get rid of this creepy music. Yes, because a father passed away. What? <laughs> oh, her dad's alive. No, 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 it just said he was suffering from high fever, the cause of which was unknown. He's not dead. But according to this letter, that news about her father's fever was just a ruse. A ruse? Her sister's daddy lied to her so that she'd make the voyage back home. Why would he do that? I have to admit, I have absolutely no idea. But she believes it's almost certainly related to the case of the haunted lodgings. I don't remember the case of the haunted lodgings. Who was the haunted lodgings? There was the stabbed lady. There was... There was... Hmm... What was the case with Natsume? Oh, because he thought there was a bad luck ghost. 
Summoning her back to Japan so suddenly like that, I wonder what Mr. Sato's father is hiding. Hmm. Hurley, do you know what it's all about? Oh, he wears court now. Hmm? Ah, well, who can say? <gasps> Speaking of anime news, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie is coming out in March. It's coming out in theaters in March, I think, 18th? In US and Canada. So, definitely gotta watch that. And then hopefully they'll have news about Jujutsu Kaisen season... 2, right? Because they only had their first season? Yeah. If you haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen, go watch it. It is pretty dope. Oh, uh, what is that anime? Okay, so Jujutsu Kaisen is about a group of shaman who are killing curses, or like getting rid of curses in modern day Japan. But shenanigans happen, and it turns out that when the main character swallows a finger of a really powerful demon, they're just like, well, you gotta finish collecting his finger so that we could subdue him. That's what they're doing. It's really good. <laughs> it's that boring manga. But the fight animation, really, really good. Like, if you thought One Piece fight animation was good, I, f I think Jujutsu Kaisen is just as good or even a little slightly better. But yeah, so good. And all of the girls in that anime are so awesome. Like, no one's... Actually, I lied. I was gonna say no one's a weak pansy, but one of them is kind of like, eh, because I feel like she doesn't have a lot of confidence in herself. But they're all cool. There's, like, no unnecessary, like, cleavage, thank the lord. And it's great. I hate it when shenanigans happen. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. I've tried to read the manga for it, but, um, I have no idea what's going on now because there's so much action that I can't really picture how it happens. I need to watch the anime for it. Like, I just read the manga to, just to be like, what happens now? But because I don't really fully understand the story, uh, I just gotta wait for the anime to come out. I stopped reading the manga. What? But, but you said... Please, I have engagements, my dear fellow. My calendar's quite surprisingly full today. And a stringent analysis of the matter would be excessive, I feel, even if I were quite at leisure. So, man before in my absence, won't you, Iris? I will, Helly, don't worry. See you later. He scuttled off rather quickly there. I think perhaps Professor Bikotoba isn't the only person hiding something here. Soseki-san was involved in two cases, but only one of them was forbidden from being published. By, of all people, Mr. Sholmes. Aha! Uh -huh. I found them at last! Iris, are... are they... The notes about the case? That's right. Susie and I compiled them together. The case of the haunted lodgings. Do you want to read them, Runo? Absolutely. Thank you, Iris. I have no idea what secrets could still be hiding in the shadows of this case. But perhaps if I read over the notes again, something might come to light. That's spirit? I miss Dan. I do too! I mean, like... I still watch the Game Grumps episodes coming out. Super liminal. 
was a pretty interesting concept for a game. I thought that was really cool. I did get so dizzy watching it though, so I had to like not look at the screen while Aaron was playing it. But yeah, I, just, I understand. I'm curious what your fan art looks like. My fan art of what? I should make fan art. So many things I want to draw, but my skill level's not quite good enough, so I don't draw anything. And so... Iris and I decided to read over the case notes again together. I haven't uploaded my daily Daichi drawings! Oh! I... I drew them, but I, I think I stopped uploading since... November? Oh, I should start slowly uploading those. I don't want to post them all at once because then it's going to be too much. But I'll post like maybe two, three a day just to get caught up. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I didn't upload those. Ah! I remember you posted some in the new year. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, wait, I didn't finish uploading October. So I finished October, but I have November and I'm like in the middle of December. Oh, shoot. I, was only, I thought it was only for last year only. It was, but since I was like so close to finishing the year, I was just like, even though it's late, let's just finish drawing like the number of drawings it would have taken for like the rest of the month. I do have all of November though. It's just been sitting in my computer and I finished those in November. <laughs> ah! I should upload those. Iris and I decided to read over the case notes again together. Everything from what happened to our investigation and that fierce battle in court that followed. Rel reliving every detail. I just need to find a clue, and I have all the time in the world. Because, of course... I'm no longer allowed to practice law in the courts of Great Britain?! <gasps> what?! What? But then how do we have a game? So is Susato going to be the main lawyer then? But... It was six months ago, a mysterious incident that unfolded on the wintry streets of London. Yeah, this lady. A young woman was found lying on the snowy pavement of Briar Road with a knife in her back. What did you do? Are you talking about my um, daily drawings? So as a art challenge for myself, I wanted to draw one drawing every day of my favorite character from Haikyuu. And each month had a theme. So because I didn't want to just do like random ones, I was like, if I do themes, it'll be more fun. So I was pretty good about my schedule about uploading every day. Or if I, like, I missed a day, then I just be like, whoopsie, here's like two at once. But then, Starting in um, October, my schedule got thrown off because I went on like a mini vacation and like I had family over, so like I got delayed. And then November was like Thanksgiving time, so again, delay. And then December was just like really crazy because I spent most half the month at my relatives, so I didn't really get to draw. Um, so I was late in posting my daily drawings, but I finished all of my November drawings, and um, I just haven't posted them. And December, I'm like, you know what, let's just finish through it because I'm almost done with it anyway. Nice, I did that with music, it helps keep focus. It does help keep focus, but also, I think it's a little stressful if you miss a day, because then you're just like, oh shoot, I'm late, and like, um, I was really like trying hard to at least upload something every day just to be like, don't lose, don't lose your streak. Like, keep focusing and like drawing. Like, don't stop the challenge. Like, so, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's fun, but also stressful. But yeah, I just want to finish uh, uploading those pictures just to be like, I did do it. I probably won't do another like every day, like every drawing a day uploading schedule 
Unless they're like real quick sketches. Maybe I, that's what... I mean, it's already the end of January, but if I'm just like, okay, five or ten minutes only, go. Like, this is the progress I make for ten minutes and then just upload that. Because sometimes the drawings I did, like, took longer. Sometimes because I was procrastinating, but sometimes because there were just, like, so much going on or I wanted to really include a lot of detail. But I will say, because I drew a lot last year, um, I think my art, um, my drawing abilities did go up. And it kind of makes me feel better too, but, like, I, if I still try to draw from memory and not look at a reference, <laughs> it's so bad. But I guess that's why I have to just practice more. JT making excuses. I'm not making excuses. I just told I just legit forgot to upload because I'm just like, eh, I'm done. It's the new year. And I'll do it. Uh, fortunately, her life was spared, but she was unconscious for several days following the incidents. The fog was thick and nobody saw her attacker, but... By a cruel twist of fate, a visiting Japanese student was walking behind her at the time, and was duly arrested. Oh, this is the case of the haunted house? 10 points into art skill, yes. And now I want to just ramp my art skill up even more this year. That's kind of why I lowered my, um... My stream schedule from 3 days a week to 2 days, because 1. I'm living with family again, so I want to spend time with them. And 2. I wanted to put more time into drawing. But, um, but I don't know, I kind of want to play more games now. Maybe I'll up my stream days to three days a week again. We'll see. That man was Sosaki-san, and the man who effected his arrest was Mr. Scholz. Believing in our compatriot's innocence, Susata-san and I decided to represent Sosaki-san in court. And, after a grueling trial of many twists and turns, we finally managed to prove his innocence. Joyful, joyous, jubilant, jubilation! Was the man's reaction after the trial, but his jubilant jubilation was short-lived. We received a telegram from Mr. Sholmes the following morning. The victim of the Briar Road stabbing has regained consciousness. Hurry to Bart's at once. Oh, okay, we don't I don't we don't know this part of the story. So Susata san and I summoned a hansom and headed immediately to the hospital. What's a hansom? Dolms is such an arse. Kinda! Uh, yeah, I could see it. 21st February. There you are at last. Good morning, Mr. Sholmes. There is a giant rat on the floor. I think not. Oh? You're late. What on earth took you so long? Your telegram only arrived at 5 o'clock, Mr. Scholz. That's a 20-minute ride to the hospital. That's right, and it's half past 5 now. I think we made very good time. The time is utterly irrelevant. The fact is, I've been waiting for what has felt like an eternity. Ah. In point of fact, I myself was awoken at 4 this morning by a telegram boy. See what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he seems very oblivious to things outside of himself. And feeling it was somewhat unjust that I alone had been roused at such an hour, I sent one to you. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot, Sholmes. Well, thanks for that. Anyway, you're here now, so the victim is over there. She's only just regained consciousness. You 
You should introduce yourselves. And I shall observe from here. So that's the lady who was found on a snow-covered pavement with a knife in her back. Is she going to sue me? Her name is... Ah, yes, here we are. Miss Green. Uh, no, I don't really want to examine... Th I'll examine things. This rounded wooden figure isn't the most charming, is it? Ah, oh, I don't think that's a decoration, Mr. Nadahoro. It's an artist's mannequin, I believe. Used when practicing sketching the human form in different poses. They suck. They don't work well. Really? It's not exactly what you call a typical figure for that purpose, though, is it? No, I suppose not. I guess I've never seen one quite so full-figured before. Well, if you want to draw a full-figured person, it's the right tool for the job. I will say, drawing, um... Oh, I do have to examine stuff. Uh, I can't talk to her yet. I will say drawing more full-bodied figures is a lot of fun. Drawing all the curves? Great. Not drawing skeletons? Great. <laughs> Look, there's a photograph in this frame here. Oh yes, it's a picture of a young gentleman. He looks to be about the same age as Miss Green, I would say. Perhaps the young woman's special someone, do you think? My, my, Mr. Nadhoro. I didn't know you had a sense for matters of the heart. Not in the least. I sincerely said the first thing I thought of. Uh... Ah, this looks like the patient's treatment notes. Let's see. Do not feed. What? Huh? What is this place? A zoo? You know, I seem to remember seeing an almost identical sign in our local park. For the pigeons, yes. This is a person. Poor woman. I hope she hasn't read this. Uh, a bag. That must be a bag of Miss Green's personal belongings. She would have been brought directly here after she was found stabbed on the pavement, though. I expect a friend or family member probably brought some things for her. Alright then, let's see what's inside. A change of clothes, no doubt. And... Why are we peeking into her bag? No, Mr. Nadahoro, you must never scrutinize a young maiden's personal belongings. Or anyone else's. But the young maiden might have chocolates, or biscuits, or caramel. Let's examine this rat. Or not? Okay, there we go. A mouse, Mr. Nadahoro! An enormous mouse! A rat. She's right there, I know! And we're snooping through her bag! Hmm, Bremen in a hospital. That doesn't seem the best. It looks like a very healthy specimen, doesn't it? It's very plump. I'm not sure we can say that's down to the excellence of this facility, if that's what you were thinking. Um, good morning. No. Hello, um, I'm, um, Ryunosuke Naruhoro, from the Empire of Japan. Oh no, what, was it your knife that, are you the man who? No, 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 I'm a lawyer. And I'm Susato Mikotoba. Pleased to meet you. Oh no! What? Was it your knife then? Are you the one? No, no, no. I assure you, I'm Mr. Nadahoto's judicial assistant. We heard that you'd regained consciousness and wanted to come give you our best wishes. 
I'm the one who stabbed you. That's why I saved you. And that's why I'm not in jail right now. Best wishes for me. Um, thank you. I'm Olive. Olive Green. I'm an artist. Well, no, that's not right, is it? What I mean is, I'm trying to be an artist. Well, what I really mean is, I desperately want to be an artist. But the truth is, I don't have any talent. I know I don't. No wonder I was stabbed in the back. I don't think that's related, actually. Gosh, this young woman seems to bend over backwards to put herself down. Seeing as we're here, we should ask her about what happened from her perspective, I suppose. So is there going to be, like, more stuff about this case? Are we going to revisit this case? And then they're gonna find out that we wrongfully, like, um, punished someone else, like, or... Huh. I doubt this lady is bending over anywhere anytime soon. Ah, oh, that's so mean, Rico! <gasps> that's so harsh! You suddenly be struck in the back by a blade as you are walking along the pavement. What a terrible experience you have, Miss Green. Oh. It was so cold that day. The fog was so thick. I couldn't see a thing. That was four days ago now, I think. Is that right? No, there can't have been anything wrong with this case because we had two more cases after this. But we were still practicing law then. So what was it about this case that was shady? Hmm. Yes, that's right. I'm afraid you've been comatose all that time. But the case has been solved, hasn't it? Well, I've been here in the hospital, I mean. Indeed it has, my dear madam. Spectacularly, by none other than I, Herlock Schultz. I solved it. Excuse me, I solved it. Mr. Sholmes, as you well know, it was Mr. Naruhoto's hard work in court that solved the case. Are you yet to hear what- Oh wait, that's Rindosuke. Are you yet to hear what happened, Miss Green? Yes, I'm afraid so. A gentleman from the police force is supposed to be coming in to fill me shortly. Fill me in shortly. I can read. Oh, I see. Me coming round seems to have made everyone frantically busy. I'm so sorry. I should never have regained consciousness. It was selfish of me. What are you saying? Listen, lady, ain't no one filling you in ever. Oh, <gasps> Regal! That's so mean! Oh my gosh, that's so harsh! Oh no, we're all so relieved that you're on the bend, Miss Green. Really, we are. With that kind of attitude, maybe her surname should be Blue, not Green. Doo -doo -doo -doo. About yourself. So, you're an artist, are you, Miss Green? Oh no, I couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly claim that. I'm a fledgling artist at best. I mean, I'm a student of art, really, at the Thorndike Academy of Fine Arts. Oh my, an Academy of Fine Arts. Great Britain is such a wonderful country. Hey, I went to a fine art college. It was in America. Tell me, Miss Green, do you live hereabouts? Oh no, actually. I don't deserve it, but I have a little flat on Brixton Road. I see. All very interesting. Oh no, is it? This 
this girl is way too mousy and too jumpy and too pessimistic. I do not like her. I reckon there's some 10 stops away on the underground from here. And Thorndike Academy is a mere 3 minute walk from Bixton Town Centre. Does that matter, Mr. Schultz? Perhaps not, but Briar Road is far less salubrious part of town by comparison, built by those of inferior means. Including the Maleficent, Mr. Mustache. Inferior means? I suppose sosaki san does fit the bill. Am I wrong? You never know. <laughs> you gotta look me in the face and tell me I'm wrong. You never know. There's someone for everyone. Different strokes for different folks. Some people might like her type of personality. Personally, I don't like her personality. Came down in a bubble dome. <gasps> So mean, Regal. It still feels somewhat out of the ordinary for a young fine arts student to be walking in such a district. That's all. You don't get the reference. No, I don't. Am I missing something? I just assumed you were making a, a fat joke. What's this? She suddenly climbed up. Mr. Sholmes, you should be ashamed of yourself, prying into a young maiden's private affairs. Ah oh, ha ha ha, oh dear me, do forgive me. Her sister was a witch. Huh? Um, I don't get it. If you don't mind. I sent it to you on Twitter. Okay, I'll have to check Twitter. I'm being discharged shortly, so I need to pack up my things. Oh yes, of course. We won't keep you. Thank you so much, Miss Green. Okay, wait. Let me open Twitter. Twitter.com Is there a Mr. Nauru Foda here? Mr. Narufoda! Uh, whoops. Narufoda now. Well, um, if you're looking for Naruhodo the liar, that's me, but... Oh, okay, it's a video. I'll watch it later. Uh, he is a detective prying, is what he does. Oh, I, I guess so. Ah, Mr. Narufoda, good. This is for you. It's a message from Mr. Saucy Natsubeg. Oh, Sosaki Natsube. Mr. Natsume sent a message to me? Also, I know it's meant to be funny that he's like, haha, I got your names wrong. Here's all the English words I'm substituting it with, but that's kind of racist and not cool. But why would a policeman be delivering a message from Mr. Natsume? Exactly. What's going on? What's a Scotland Yard constable doing playing delivery boy at this time in the morning? Ah, what are you waiting for? Let me see that. What is Sholmes up to? Oh. You mean like how Pokemon replaced Onigiri with donuts? I... I... I don't remember if I said this on stream before, I was so confused when that happened. Cause, you know, being an Asian kid, we know what rice balls are. But then they said, oh look, it's a jelly donut. I'm like, that's not a jelly donut. JT unfamiliar with how racist white people were during this era. I mean... <sighs> yeah, true. They were super racist, I guess. I forget if that was Pokemon, but I know some anime did it back in the day. Oh, it was Pokemon. Brock was like, and I made some jelly donuts. Let's eat. And I was like, no, that, those are clearly not donuts. <laughs> those are rice balls. Well, this is most unexpected. Is something wrong, Mr. Sholmes? 
There's something wrong, Mr. Sholmes, he says. Have you not seen this note? No, you ripped it away from me. I'm using a frying pan as a drying pan. Yeah, that was in the movie. Yes, I remember that. That was so good. No, how could I have? It would seem that London's criminals have no intention of letting the great detective rest. Unpopular opinion, I hate jelly donuts. I like chocolate better. I mean, okay. If it's a regular donut and it's like chocolate frosted, yes, those are the best. But jelly donuts are also good if they're actually filled with jelly. Actually, one time it was too filled with jelly. And so like every bite I had, it just like it was just spilling all over my hands and it was sticky and gross. But if they're filled the right amount. Oh, so good. I remember I got one jelly donut that was only like if if my palm is the donut, it was only filled like this much. And it was the worst jelly donut ever. And I was just like, why did I pay money for this? I might have well just eaten fried dough. I eat the jelly part of the jelly donut, then throw the rest of the donut out, then just open a jar of jelly and eat that. Why would you buy a jelly donut? Oh, but donut, donuts are so good, but they're also really bad for your health and your weight. They're one of the worst things you can eat if you want to watch your weight. I mean, I would take a bite of the whole donut. Oh... So you take a bite of the donut, suck out all the jelly, and just throw out the rest of the donut? <laughs> a new case calls. A case of murder, no less. We must depart at once. I have a Dunkin' Donuts a few blocks down from me. It's hard not to go there more often. I have a Dunkin' Donuts down the street from me, too, and I'm just like, mmm, donuts, but... I think that's only gonna be, like, once every six months treat. Because, yeah, the next day after I ate donuts, my weight went up a lot. And I was just like, ooh, all of my working out for nothing. Murder? To quote the great philosopher Homer Simpson, mmm, donuts. <laughs> Call a cab. Time is of the essence. The donuts I eat from Dunkin' suck, so they have like jelly on one side of the donut and I eat that side then I throw it out the rest. So you know what I'm talking about when I say they're not filled that right well, right? Oh. Like growing up in New York, I've only ever eaten donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. I didn't know there were like other donut shops around. But then I came out to California and I'm just like, oh, these donuts are not donuts because California donuts are more like cakey. They feel more dense and they're heavy and they don't taste as good. But that's maybe because I'm so used to Dunkin' Donuts donuts. But they finally opened some Dunkin' chain stores around here. I'm just like, yes, Dunkin'! It's like the nice light donuts that I remember. I love it. But the trouble is... We've yet to read Mr. Natsume's note. I was thinking we ought to pay him a visit in his lodgings once we did. That will be entirely convenient. Oh man, now that I'm noticing it, the stream is really lagging. Mm. I should restart my computer after the stream. See if it gets better. Vini, what do you mean? It's all here in the note, my dear fellows. Let us read the note! The murder we must investigate took place at Mr. Mustache's lodgings. Wait, what? I'll hail a f Oh, what? A fiaker? A fiaker? How do you pronounce that? A f fiacra. A small four-wheeled carriage for public hire. Oh, I learned a new word today. Donut balls are good. Oh, munchkins, yeah. I don't know if other people call them munchkins, but from, from Dunkin' Donuts, they were called munchkins. Yeah, and if it was a kid's birthday at school, they would buy um, a box or two boxes of, do of munchkins, and they'd, like, share it with the class. It was good. And I always either picked the jelly 
filled munchkins or chocolate munchkins. It was only yesterday that Sosuke-san was in court, and we were dispelling doubts about his innocence. And now, the very next day... There's a murder at the man's own address? Address. He may very well be the unluckiest man alive. That's where you got your name from? I kinda got my name from Jelly, because I do like Jelly. Like, I love peanut butter jelly. The jelly is literally just a mashup of my real name. I'm just like, oh, if you put this, if you put the first letter of my first name and my last name, you get jelly. So that's where my nickname has come from. And then toast is also a nickname from my name when I was in Japanese class. And toes comes from toast. So that's why I'm jelly toasty toes. Best fresh and hot. I've never had them fresh and hot. They've always been just room temperature or whatever. <laughs> so it seemed to us at the time, but we were soon to discover it was worse than we thought. Only first February. What on earth? Who's this guy? Oh my, the gentleman is deceased without question. He's dead. <laughs> Welcome, student Mr. Naruhoro Esquire. Mr. Natsume. This is a setup. Get out. I think so. Oh, why? Why is this happening? Why to me? I've only just gotten out of court! Yesterday, I was finally home after two days of misery! So there was another lodger in that building? Then I wake up next day to this! No early bird should catch a worm like this! Woeful worm without wiggle! <laughs> I see you're in high spirits again this morning, Mr. Mustache. Ah! Not the horrible Herlock Sholmes! Lodger, more like Poggers. <laughs> no, it's not Poggers! Shoo, shut off! Show yourself the door! I never invited you! Mr. Sholmes came here with us. I'm quite sure he'll be able to help you, Mr. Natsume. I am entirely at your disposal, Mr. Mustache. What can I do for you? What are you playing at, Sholmes? Huh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> there they are, already. The busybodies. Ah, Inspector Gregson. What a pleasant surprise. Herlock Sholmes. Aston and Lucie Upon. <laughs> Wait, uh, Watson and Lupin the Third. Pleasant, isn't it? Gives me heartburn every time I see your face at a crime scene, Sholmes. Ha! I deduce, Inspector, that your heartburn is a result of your excessive consumption of fried food. I want fish and chips. Um, good morning, Inspector. This is a crime scene! Don't you go touch on anything! Or, good morning to you too, sunshine. I thought this guy lost his job. Um... I don't know if for sure he lost his job at the end of that last trial, but this is in the past, so... In the first game, I think this is tr right after trial number three. So we still have a lot of things to look at. Oi, I said hands off, you're going to mess up my crime scene. Okay, so I guess I have to converse first. Oh, um, no, I just wanted to look, that's all. No chance, I know you're kind. You'll mess it up just by looking at it. 
Ugh. Someone's in a bad mood. I mean, if I had to inspect a murder scene at 7 in the morning, I'd be crabby too. There's certainly some bad air in here, isn't there? I was just about to comment on that. <laughs> Alright, sounds like I'd better talk to the inspector first and try to curry some favor. Oh no, examining. I can't- oh, I have to examine him first. Okay, here we go. So, Inspector, what was the victim's name? Who was he? Mr. William Shamspear. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not Shakespeare, it's Shamspear. It was Lodger here. As you can probably tell, he was an actor. A bit of a dead loss, as it seems. Or just dead. <laughs> Billy Shamspear. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, because Billy is a nickname of William. Ha <laughs> ha, Billy Shamspear. <gasps> Mr. Shamspear. It was the landlord, old Mr. Gardub, and the other lodger, Mr. Natsume, who found him. Well, it couldn't have been Natsume because he was just released from jail, so... What? Fell didn't rise at his usual hour, so Garadub got worried and kicked the door down. I thought Garadub went- No, he didn't go to jail, his wife went to jail. But doesn't Mr. Garadub have a bed leg? Homero and Janowitz. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, the- It was that jittery Japanese hunchback over there who actually did the kicking. Really? Osaki-san? The victim was pretty hard up, it seems. Even done some time inside for petty crimes. He had no money, no place to go, and no friends. His only acquaintances were the people in this house. A miserable life, and a miserable end to it. I still think the Romeo and Juliet movie that they remade with um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire... Why do I not remember her last name? Dane? Was funny. Because it took place in like, modern day. So instead of carrying swords around, they're like, Oh, you want a taste of my gun? <laughs> and I was just like, what? <laughs> it felt so silly, because you know, back in the day they'd have sword fights and sword duels. But in the modern remake movie, it was guns and I was just like, what? <laughs> Yeah, in um, in the Leonardo DiCaprio Romeo and Juliet, they they were just like, oh, you want a taste of like blah blah blah, and then there was a close up shot of the gun, and it had the name of the the sword or like something, or the name of the character who owned the sword, but it was a gun, and I'm like, what? This is so funny. I didn't finish watching that movie. We started watching it in English class. And then I think, um, we ran out of time because we watched, like, the first original Romeo and Juliet movie first. And then we watched the DiCaprio one, and yeah, we had to move on to our next book. I should finish watching that movie, too. I want to see how it ends. I mean, I know what happens in the end, but I want to see how that movie ends it. If there's, like, an epic gunfight at the end or something. So what exactly is Mr. Natsume still doing here? Not involved in the investigation, so shouldn't you have something away from the crime scene? Well, I'm not saying it's because the fellow looks odd or anything, or that he acts suspicious. There is a lag, there's like a two or three second lag, dang. But I thought it would be prudent to make a statement from the culprit- I mean, cohabitor. He's not the culprit, he just came out of jail. You nearly said culprit there, didn't you? You're gonna look at me and tell me I'm wrong, grow up, dude. I keep watching that video, it's hilarious. Man, okay, maybe I should watch that video. Sorry if there's double audio on, on the stream.
What was the fight? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is it no, it's the wicked witch of the west. And then the east was supposedly the good witch of the east. She gave Dorothy her shoes. Hmm. Hmm. And also, just because one sister is wicked doesn't mean that the other one is necessarily wicked. Hmm. She was a princess, but. Was she? Re no! I mean, she did have a crown. Hmm. Um, at least your cam matches gameplay even if you are a few seconds behind. Yeah, but just like the- if I push A on my switch and like I hear the dialogue starting to go, I'm like waiting for it to show up here like a second later, but it shows up like two or three seconds later, so I'm just like, ooh, very laggy. Good ending, I hope. I mean, Romeo and Juliet sounds good. <laughs> He's totally wrong, by the way. Right? Because... What is his argument? Is his argument that she's evil? Or that she's good? Oh... Oh dear. Mr. Natsume appears to be under suspicion again. It certainly seems that way. He does just come across as such an odd fellow, doesn't he? Poor man. How unfortunate. Anyway, I can't say much until the coroner gets here. But I don't think the fellow's been a goner that long. The body's still warm. Ew. Even if the inspector would allow it, I don't think I could bring myself to touch a dead body. But there's no, like, fingerprinting in this era, so you could technically touch it. Touch it! Can I touch him now? Wait, is he in the court record now? Uh, people... Olive green is 20, not so many, 33, 44. Well, oh gosh, that face. William Shamspeard, victim of the current case, a failed actor renting a room in the same building as Mr. Natsume's lodging. Lovely. Oh wait, what's in my um, evidence? Nearby street map, oh, okay. And secondhand book receipt, okay. So those are still important. Can I examine him? Look, Seth. Ha! I actually never read Macbeth. So, I know a lot of kids in high school read a lot of um, Shakespeare stuff. Like, there's Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Macbeth, um, Midsummer Night's Dream, and... There's something else. We did in 12th grade. Yeah, I feel like... <clears throat> I read Romeo and Juliet in... Ninth or 10th grade, but I think only the advanced English classes in my high school read like other Shakespeare stuff. I did not want to do advanced English because I hate writing essays. So yeah, every other like well-known um, uh, Shakespeare work, I've never actually read it. I've only like read summaries about it and that's why I know the stories. We read Romeo and Juliet in 9th grade, Macbeth in 12th grade, but I didn't read Hamlet until college. Oh... Uh, yeah. And when I watched, like, a play or a movie of Midsummer Night's Dream, I was just like, what the F is going on? Who the heck wrote this? And that's when I found out that it was William Shakespeare, and I'm just like... This is so weird. I think the loud dude was saying the witch was a princess. Oh, she's not a princess. She even says she's a good witch of the East. She doesn't call herself a princess. She's a witch. <laughs> oh, that wrong, wrong and strong. Strong and wrong. Wrong and wrong. <laughs> That's why he's just wrong. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> Oi, I said hands off. You're gonna mess up my crime scene. Oh, can I converse now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Um, so is there a converse option? There's still no converse option! Do I like talk to you again? What am, what am I doing? Can I talk to you? Okay, let's talk to uh Matsuma san. This guy is totally wrong, but he's loud, so I'm not sure. Strong and wrong. What a terrible thing to have happened. It's only been three days since I was arrested for the incident on pavement outside. And then, having finally regained my freedom, it starts happening all over again. Ask the dead what happened. Endless existence of excruciating experiences! So, the victim lived here on the ground floor, and your room is just one story up, isn't it? Wow, this man is so super wrong, but also loud, so who knows? <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's... that's true. Servers actually don't need tips because minimum wage laws will make up the difference for them? Nope! That is not correct. That's why the minimum wage for servers is super low, because they think, oh, people will pay you tips and that's how you'll make the rest of your money. And uh, nope. If someone's being loud, that probably means that means they're probably smart, said bartender. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. There's there's like I think it was like an experiment or like some research was done about the amount of knowledge and how um how loud people are. And it's like the more knowledgeable you are about it, if you're an expert, like you're very quiet. And if you don't know anything about it at all, you're also quiet because you have no idea what the heck you're talking about. But if you have like some knowledge, like some knowledge, but you're not like a master, but you don't have all the facts, then that's when you're the loudest. So people who are the loudest are wrong. <laughs> and you shouldn't really listen to them. I can verify this. I never talked during my math classes and I sucked at math. Exactly, you either don't know anything about it, or you know all about it, so you're just like, eh, whatever. And just coasting along. But if you have, like, if you know something about it, but don't know enough about it to know that you're wrong, that's in your loudest. Because even if you try to refute the facts to someone who doesn't, who's, who's wrong, they're just gonna be like, no, I know everything and blah 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 blah. They won't bother listening to you, so it's just like, meh. Yes, that's right. In a way, we were neighbors, I suppose. Put her in a nutshell. Exactly. So, did you know the victim? Were you friends? Were you friends? What's the matter with Sosaki-san now? It was an innocent enough question, wasn't it? Why does he seem so shaken by it? Well, I suppose he wasn't a complete stranger. Not friends, lovers. <gasps> but did he ever invite me to his room? Never! <gasps> so, on my honor, I swear it. What an extreme reaction. So he wanted to be friends, or more, but William, but Billy never invited him into his room. Love triangle, never mind. You're probably wishing you'd never asked now, aren't you, Mr. Naruhodo? When we found him here, I felt wretched, which is why I sent word asking you to come. Through that inspector over there! Shows, what the freak are you doing back there? Um, Mr. Sholmes, how many licks does it take to get to his titty roll center of a titty pop? <laughs> what are you doing? Ha! Huh, you need only observe to know it, my dear fellow. Investigating naturally. There's nothing natural about that pose. Mr. 
Housewives. Have you made some miraculous discovery? Patience, my dear madam. Patience. We've not been here in this room five minutes. Yes, we have. We've been here for so long. So far, all I've managed to deduce is what actually happened. <gasps> More deducing? I love deducing. My goodness. But isn't that everything we need to know, Mr. Schultz? Hmm. Now that you propose the idea, I believe one could indeed see it that way. At the present time, I have managed to draw two incontrovertible, incontrovertible conclusions. The first, that there was a physical struggle here last night in which the victim fought for his life. Eh? Ah! Ah! Mr. Nazimir, what's wrong? Is something that Mr. Sholmes said significant somehow? No, don't mind me. Forget I was here. I don't think there was a struggle, because he's in a chair. So, and he is holding a... Hmm. And my second conclusion is that there was a poison lingering in the air here last night that passed the victim's lips. Nonsense! Ah! All right, Mr. Natsume, why are you reacting so extremely to Mr. Sholm's deduction? No, please, pretend I'm not here. Invisible, ineffable, inscrutable, insignificant. What is going on? Impossible to ignore. You still haven't finished this game? I haven't, Nanoja. I'm only on the second case of the second game, so there's... I think after this, three more games, three more trials. So, yeah, I still have a long way to go. Also, happy Tuesday. How are you doing? Thanks for being here. <sighs> I know, it's because for a whole month I didn't have my HDMI splitter. So for like two or three weeks, I was just streaming Final Fantasy XIV, which delayed my progress. So I'm thinking of maybe upping my stream days to three days a week again. Just so I can finish games faster. So I can finish Dragon Quest and Persona 5 Strikers. And then get to Danganronpa. Or maybe to another Tales game. But we'll see whenever I reach that point. One triple shot of jelly. Hold the mayo. <laughs> sorry, that's so... Oh. I'm sorry. Mayo with jelly? Ew! 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 Disgust! Oh! Oh! Okay. Cream cheese with jelly on a bagel. I can do. But. Oh! Mayo! Oh. I hate mayo. I like mayo if it's only like a little amount on sandwiches. Otherwise, sandwiches are too dry and it's kind of gross to eat them. But. Oh, if it's too much mayo. Oh, 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 no, thank you. Yay, Danga. I gotta get through this game first. You must tell us everything, Mr. Sholmes. Spare no detail. That's why you use pick. Oh. 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 The food I hate the most in this world, Regal, are American pickles. Pickled cucumbers? The, the thing that's put in like every single hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever? I hate those. They're disgusting. They're the worst. And pickle juice? Ew. Ew, I'm sorry if I grossed people out with my with my sounds, but it's just oh oh that's so gross. Ew. Pickles are nasty. They're the worst. Pickles are disgusting. They're the worst. <laughs> Why did you clip mayo? <laughs> ah. Oh, pickle. Like, okay, I also don't really like mushrooms, but if mushrooms are chopped up enough. Or like already baked or like cooked into something that I can't really take them out. I will still eat the mushrooms. 
Reason I don't like mushroom is because of the texture. It's like kind of rubbery and gross to me. Um, insert Mario mushroom sound effect here. What else do I not like? Eggplants for the same reason I don't like mushrooms because they're like kind of rubbery and like oh I don't like I don't like chewing it, but but I'll I'll still maybe kind of eat it, but pickles are no. Drinking pickle juice is the best part. Smooth, I don't think we could be friends. <laughs> if you like drinking pickle juice, I don't think we could be I'm just kidding, but oh, pickle juice and pickles are so disgusting. Which is weird because I could take other pickled foods like pickled um daikon. I can eat that, no problem. Like pickled like Asian food, I can eat it. But pickled cucumbers, just American pickles, I can't. They're disgusting. I don't like ketchup either. Me too. I don't like ketchup. It's weird. Pickle juice is delicious. No, it's not. Pickle pickles are the worst. Oh. There's <laughs> like every time I order cheeseburgers from from like fast food restaurants or burger restaurants, I always have to say no pickles. And that's why I love In-N-Out because they just don't put pickles in at all. And I'm just like, yes, thank you, because pickles are the devil's food. They suck. <laughs> At first you're like, this is completely disgusting. And then you keep drinking, you're like, okay, this isn't half bad. You know what that sounds like? Stockholm Central. <laughs> you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm held captive here. Oh, but you're not so bad because that's your constant exposure to them. No. Pickles are gross. Come on, mayonnaise with sushi or rice balls, come on. Mm-mm. 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 That should be a shirt on your merch store. Pickles are the devil's food. <laughs> That'll be the only thing on my merch store. <laughs> Cause pickles are disgusting. Oh. I hate them. Oh. Like, you know how some people's tastes for food change over time? Like when they get older, they're just like, oh, I didn't like broccoli when I was a kid, but now I love broccoli. Or like, hey, um, shrimp was weird, but now shrimp is great. Like, I've grown to like some vegetables as I got older. I've grown to like some other, like, shellfish, too. Pickles! I still eat it, and it's still disgusting. Ew. Mayonnaise is best when it's dripping from your sandwich. That's too... If it's dripping out of your sandwich, that means it's way too much mayo. Your sandwich cannot handle all that, mu all that mayo. Ugh. Especially mayo squeezed onto slices of pickle and jelly. Are you trying to make me throw up, Regal? What? Oh. 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 No. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. No, no more pickle talk. Mayo I can kind of handle. But no more. Oh. Don't talk about pickles. Pickles are gross. Oh. Uh, oh, but of course. Ugh. Let the theatrical tragedy before us be unraveled by my great deductions. Presented for your pleasure in two acts. We've heard some truly astounding great deductions from Mr. Sholmes in the past. No doubt this will be no exception. What miracles will unfold before our eyes this time? If you wanted to make her puke, you'd say something like pickles dipped in mayo and ketchup with a side of raw tuna. I like raw tuna. Because that, like, I eat tuna sushi. But disgusting. I want to date with Sephiroth or eat pickle dip mayonnaise. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh shoot. <laughs> Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh my god. How long would I be required to stay at that date? <laughs> Answer one winged angel here. Oh, both of them are terrible. I hate both. They both suck. No. So, my dear fellows, for your delight and wonder, let the curtain rise. 
But her luck shows is logic and reasoning spectacular. Act 1. Keep in mind, he might want a goodnight kiss. Oh, hells no. I will punch him in the face. And, oh. Oh. They're both... No, Smooth, those are those are two very terrible choices. Wow. I've always wondered what a, like... Like, what is the worst choice for me to, to like, have? Because people are like, oh, like... Should I eat this coffee or now, or should I have like this cake? And they're like, oh, it's so hard, I can't decide. I'm like, that's so freaking easy. But that's smooth. That's oh, that is a nightmare scenario. That is the worst. Ew. Careful observation of the victim reveals us to us the events that transpired in this disconsolate room last night. No, better. Date with Sephiroth. Eating mayo just or getting rejected by Akihiko Sonata after buying him an expensive gift. I would rather get... No, I can't. I can't. Oh, Golden, no, that's so hard. I don't want to get rejected by Akihiko. I love him. No. I don't care if I bought him an expensive gift or not. I don't want to be rejected by... Oh. Oh, gosh. That's so... Oh, no. I don't... Oh. But I don't want to eat... The mayo dipped pickle. Oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it. And Sephiroth is- I hate him. But I <laughs> Man, you guys are like in top form tonight. Dang. Por que no los dos? Uh, I don't want to do either. <gasps> Grab the mouth of the deceased clearly indicates the use of poison. Or maybe he was brushing his teeth. That looks like a bar of soap. Next to the victim, we notice a large dining plate, which contains, you will observe. One half of a sizable bar of soap. Meaningful, indubitably. If you wanted to turn the tables on me, you'd ask me to choose between Sumide Yoshizawa and Rise Kuchikawa. Oh. That's hard. That's hard because both girls are cute. Hmm. Hmm. But I think personality wise, I think Sumine is just a little bit better than Lisa. I'm gonna have to go with Sumine. So that's not that tough of a decision for me, but it might be a super tough decision for you. You're going to have a nightmare tonight and get up and have your chin. <laughs> I mean, if I've been sleeping as well as I have been for the past two days, I won't have any dreams or nightmares. But if I wake up and start thinking of freaking pickle juice and mayo, I will be mad at all you guys. How dare you? Ugh. Disgusting. Why is the soap set so purposefully upon the dish? Like the victim's last supper, in fact. Yes. Could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course, the fork reveals the answer. <laughs> so it's like he's just like, right. I'm sorry. It's, it's all good. But you, you guys didn't know that I didn't like pickles. Or didn't really like mayo. So, you know, honest mistake. <laughs> it appears that the young man's appetite was his undoing. Taking up arms in the forms of his cutlery, the victim engaged in a deadly battle for his life. Eh? Yet the struggle against his hunger was in vain, for in the end he couldn't resist devouring the slippery feast. But London's foul soap is besmirched by foul poison. Yes, the victim's life was claimed by poison that tainted the contents of the plates. Or the cup. The soap and the lather around a young man's mouth are too perfectly matched to ignore. Wow, it was soap. Don't drop the soap. The cause of death was clearly intoxication due to excessive ingestion of foul soap. Though personally, I have a greater interest in the taste of foul candle wax, of course. Ooh. I got another one. A day out with Teddy or fighting only with Mitsudo in your party. Fighting with only Mitsudo in your party. I hate Teddy. I hate Teddy more than I hate Mitsuru's AI. Teddy is not cute. Teddy is not funny. Teddy sucks. 
I hate him. I'm sorry to all the Persona 4 people who love Teddy. I hate him. He's annoying. He sucks. I'm so glad his social link was automatic, because I never would have leveled him up. If I never leveled him up, I never would have gotten Hillel. And I like Hillel. So, yeah. The cause of death was identified. We proceed to Act 2, where we ponder the next question. Was this suicide or murder? My inflatable teddy toy would barely like to hear that. I'm sorry. Teddy sucks. That sounded better in my head. It's okay. It's still a bear pun. It works. The audience will recall that the death occurred during the victim's last supper. Did the man dine and die alone? The single teacup suggests the answer. To draw a conclusion on such meager evidence would be foolish, however, certainly. The careful criminal could have absconded with his own cup to cover his tracks. Well, allow me to lift the veil of doubt, my dear fellow. Indeed, what reveals the answer, of course, is the broken lock. Huh? Is it broken? No, it was... That was broken because he kicked the door down. The forced open now, at the time of the incident, this door was locked. Eh? And the sole key was in the victim's pockets. In other words, when the victim consumed the poison, he must have been alone. Alone with his inferior soap, from once wafted an inferior scent. And with that acrid aroma lingering in the air, the victim met his end, in tragic solitude. We can take comfort only in the fact that his soul was well cleansed on its way to the hereafter. No possible perpetrator presence. Hmm, I see many flaws with his... his deductions. Thus concludes the final act of Herlock Sholmes' great deduction. Mm, don't think so. There's just one thing, Mr. Sholmes. You are disposed to identifying just one thing, aren't you, Mr. Nadhodo? Pray, what concerns you? Well, no matter how hungry he was, do you really think the man would have eaten soap? It's quite apparent that this man had barely a penny to his name. It is a curious thing, but to one so destitute, soap can suddenly appear quite irresistibly appetizing. How extraordinary. In truth, I have tried a little soap myself in the past. Ew. You've eaten it, you mean? My dear fellow, it was some time ago now. My postulation was that it would cleanse my guts. That's not how the human body works. Did it? As I writhed in agony on the floor and split the, spilt the contents of my stomach, yes, I believe it did. You could have poisoned yourself and died, man. Experience taught me a valuable lesson. Soap is quite poisonous. It has an unpleasant taste and leads to great discomfort. In summary, I cannot recommend it. Believe me, I wouldn't eat it even if you did. Imagine taking a big bite of soap. Oh, no thank you. Oh. And, like, can you believe that, like, back in the day, that was a punishment? Like, washing your mouth out with soap if you, like, spoke badly or, like, said bad things or, like, rude things to adults? I'm just like, what the freak are you doing to your children? That's disgusting. Ew. Ugh. Something that troubles me as well, actually. Oh? What's that? 
Mr. Natsume. Oh. I couldn't help noticing him shuddering and quivering out of the corner of my eye. Almost as if Mr. Shom's deductions touched a nerve somehow. <laughs> Nonsense! Well, that clenched teeth episode didn't last. I think, judging by Mr. Natsume's reaction, the Great Detective's deductions may need some gentle corrections in order to reach the actual truth. Yes, Mr. Sholm's observations and deductions are sometimes a little too sharp. He has a tendency to hit the nail on the side of the head and drive it into an obtuse angle. When he does that, it falls to us to straighten things out. Alright then, let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to save this here. Um... Because it's coming up on two hours... Wait, um... It's coming up on two hours of streaming. My throat is getting tired. And I don't want to do the deduction because I feel like it's going to take a lot longer. So I'll leave the de deduction for next time and hopefully next time my video feed won't be as laggy. So we won't have to wait too long for the dialogue to appear when I... Um... Yeah, when I press A on my Switch to progress the dialogue. Um, and hopefully I'll find a way to make the delay between my console and my capture card less, so that maybe one day we can play Jack Fox. A girl I... What? I, I played with when I was young at... Wait, where? Can we read comments? She's playing a game I think you're like, sure, we can. GG's. Alright, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. I'm gonna get ready to raid... Oh, <gasps> She's playing near! Kame is playing near, guys. Gah! But, um... Uh, I knew you'd like it. Okay, so that's it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. And let's go raid Kame!